I certainly felt a lot of personal pressure in terms of the movie adaptation and wanting to deliver what people had seen on stage or what they'd heard about on stage because by nature of making a film, it's a very different undertaking and there are a lot of things you can get away with on stage that you can't on film and vice versa. And so I felt very lucky that I had all of the seeds of the experience of creating the character on stage to kind of build from as a foundation. And action. My process with Dear Evan Hansen started about three years ago. I'd seen the show on Broadway. I fell in love with all the characters, the music, etc. And when I saw it, I loved it so much, I wanted to be a part of adapting it. I never actually saw Ben Platt perform Evan on stage. I saw an actor named Taylor Trench. So I wasn't trying to capture this amazing magical performance that I saw that one magical night. I wanted to find it every day with Ben. You know, maybe we'll even put a little kiddie pool here or something like that. Just because wait until you see the Zarnecki house tomorrow. The Murphy house is amazing. I bet the contrast is pretty well. It's fantastic. From the get-go, Stephen was incredibly supportive and accommodating and just really helped me in the minutia of the day-to-day -day of preserving the performance and giving the performance that I was really hoping to give that I know that he felt the pressure of the way that I did. And so I just appreciated having kind of a partner in crime in that regard and feeling very taken care of. Okay, well set, Colton, and action. We're starting to cast the movie and I'm watching all the auditions and suddenly Colton Ryan starts and I was like, I, my jaw at the floor. There was something about him that was just special. It was almost too good to be true that I was gonna be a part of something that was so moving for so many people. I just kinda would always like, you know, pinch myself. It was very, 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 very fulfilling. Okay. So it's like, if we're doing this, you know, there you go. Now, here, I want you guys to see this. Kaylin Deaver, I, just, I love the kid so much. She is effortlessly great at acting, and she had so much guts to just jump in there with all these Broadway veterans and just do it, and she was terrific. Hey, can you just come down and like and do the, the stop thing that you were talking about? I went and saw Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway with my mom. Yeah. And I have this amazing picture of the two of us holding our Dear Evan Hansen souvenir cups in the audience on Broadway. And then a couple years later, I got an email saying I have an audition for the iconic role of Zoe Murphy. And I was just so excited because I know how much I loved it, but I know it was just so deeply loved by so many. When we were developing the screenplay, there were a few things that we wanted to give more weight to. We wanted Alana to have more of a moment. And when we got Amanda Stenberg to play Alana, we were all so excited. You know, you're unbelievable. You know, she's a wonderful singer and she's a songwriter. And so Benj and Justin wanted to develop something with her that would be part of not only Alana's journey, but something very personal for Amanda to sing. And that became the anonymous ones. Something about this film that I feel like is so powerful is the way in which it explores the secret sides of people and the vulnerabilities that they don't want to share with others. And that's what makes me feel so excited to be a part of this film, because I think that there's such a power in sharing those vulnerabilities. And through sharing those vulnerabilities, finding connection and solidarity and love. Julianne Moore is magical. She was remarkable from the get-go. She forged her take on Heidi, which I thought was terrific. You feel like it's worthwhile. You know, this is a period of time where we've all been sort of contemplating what we want our lives to be, what's important about our relationships. So to be able to help create something that's delivering that message to people is really meaningful. So it's like this. Amy Adams, she's one of my favorite actors. She like walks on water. And so the fact that she wanted to play this part and go on this journey with us was just a dream come true for me. Just to be a part of a production of Dear Evan Hansen, you have a sense of all of the people that feel seen and feel heard and are moved. There's so many people who need to see Evan's story. And just being a part of that, it's been just a privilege. Here, one second, I, a little slower. In terms of the sort of transferring from on stage to on film, I really had to focus mostly on just how to translate the performance. And I think you can get away with a bit more sort of bravado and broadness on stage, whereas on camera, it's very difficult to lie and to present any inauthenticity. And so that was a really fun challenge to navigate on camera, because again, when a camera is up here with you, there's really nowhere to hide and there's no kind of theatricality to hide behind. Can you walk up to it right now, Ben? There is one moment that I will never forget as long as I live, and it was for the second part of Words Fail, where he sings at the tree. And when I did the first take, and I saw him sing, I couldn't believe it. I never let them see the worst of me. 
It was like a special effect, but it was happening right in front of us. I yell, cut. Cut. And I will never forget this as long as I live. All the walkie talkies were open and you just heard somebody go, well, this is gonna be a good movie. We, to this day, we don't know who said it, but like that seemed to cement it. That was day two of shooting. And when I saw how amazing he was in that moment, how emotionally available he was, what a great singer he was in person, I was obsessed with trying to capture live vocals for the entire movie. Action. We want our actors to have as much freedom as possible in tempo and pauses and things like that. So I actually am playing piano with them as they're singing to match whatever he's feeling in that moment. So I'm able to sort of play and follow along with him and not be tied to any kind of certain track or anything like that. For the final chord, don't rush it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let, let, let him breathe. I'm used to doing this scene in a theater and now here we are an apple orchard, which is kind of amazing. So it's all kind of exciting and new for me and seeing the same show, the same story in a totally different way. Yeah, all that, it, it's just, yeah, it just feels so yeah, that you're out here and that your parents, because if you're out here, your parents aren't home. I love it here. I love film because it is collaborative. You have all these brilliant people around you. It was a wonderful, wonderful collaboration. We didn't want to approach it like your typical musical, so we did want to make sure that the sets still felt naturalistic and that the sets felt authentic. That was really the driving force for all the decisions that were made. Yeah, of course. We come up with the looks and what we think is correct for each character. So I had to make sure everyone had a different look, a different color palette, a different silhouette, which was challenging for this project because there were a lot of students. <laughs> I've always had this love affair with musicals and being able to work on Dear Evan Hansen. I wanted to have this sense of like nostalgicness of classic movement fused in with a little bit of trend on top of it. My job is to bring the songs from the Broadway version to the screen. Because there's so many more options. You can use whatever instruments you want. There's so much more at our disposal. And we're just able to make much richer harmony, have a lot more parts happening at the same time. So it's a very exciting process. Maybe you catch the other Because right now I got an empty frame, right? Yeah. If you walk in, kind of like as you walk in, it's like I feel the approach, then I feel this. You know, just, you, you know, me in the middle. I think Dear Evan Hansen is profound for people because it talks about human conditions that we all experience. And I think it is a very raw, honest, brilliantly written musical. I think Dear Evan Hansen affects people because it understands the way that we think we're unique in feeling alone, but you don't have to feel that you're the only one going through that, which is such like a generous thing. This movie is so full of life and love, and I think it has to be shared with others. It's so important. I was just thrilled at the thought of more people being able to see this story in a matter of days than have ever seen it on stage. I think that's invaluable. There was no single person who made this movie. We all made it together in very difficult circumstances, and I will forever be proud for that.